Let me see it again. Let me see it again. Dude, broken nose. What is good? What is up guys, we are finally back with another video. As you can see by our description, our G-Wagon got totaled. So we hope you guys' New Year's is going a lot better than ours. And unfortunately, our trailer flatbed got stolen as well. We were actually supposed to use that trailer to haul the Lamborghini to LA and we were supposed to use this G-Wagon to actually tow it. So our trailer's gone, our G-Wagon is totaled. So we've been kind of running into little problems this new year, so that's why we've been a little bit slow posting videos, been going through a lot of stuff. But we are back and we're back on the grind and you know, it is what it is. So let's get into the G-Wagon, see the damage, talk a little bit about it, what happened. Well, what happened was I was actually standing at a red light. I was just at a complete stop. I was waiting for the light to turn green. And uh, out of nowhere, a car just basically ran into my rear end. So the story is uh, actually the girl, uh, the girl actually did uh, tell the officer that came. The officer was right on the red light right there. So he pretty much witnessed everything that happened. So it was a, a, a younger girl, maybe in her 24, 20s, yeah, 20s, 22, I would yeah. say, yeah, around with there. a Ford, like a newer Ford, like a 2000. Ford Focus, I believe. Yeah, here it is. Here's the here's the picture of the <laughs> car, actually. So you can see her car and you can see my car. It doesn't look like there's a lot of damage, but there is actually a lot more damage than it looks. Yeah, I don't know if you guys seen the tow hitch is completely bent down, and basically the tow oh, hitch yeah. is connected to the frame, and the frame on these things just. It, it loves to check bend. this out though this is what people didn't notice so let me just put a little bit light i don't know if it's going to show on camera oh but yeah you could see that you see this buckle yeah. right here so this is you can tell this whole cab the whole back yeah, section of the panel. cab pretty much shifted which left a little buckle and also one more thing i noticed bigger gap here smaller gap here right so it's supposed to be even gap. So since she hit me on the bottom of the frame, what it looks like is it actually kind of twisted it down a little bit, right? Or actually just, maybe it just push this, left this, because G-Wag is supposed to have big gaps like this, Dang. where you can just put yeah. your hand through it and just open the window, you know, <laughs> open the car and just steal everything in it. Yeah. But nothing like that happened to us. We just have bad luck with uh, crashing them. You know, I talked about my first G-Wagon. Yeah, in the... 2017 that I rolled over. That one was kind of my fault. Uh, not really. I mean, nobody was involved. It's just me, myself, and I involved. And I uh, rolled the Don't forget the coffee, my guy. The coffee, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, we talked about the story on a previous video. If you guys haven't seen it, uh, check out Daily there. Driven Exotics video. They, yeah. yeah, we did a story on their video and our video. Anyways, so here's my first G wagon that I rolled. So this is that's actually how it, what happened. It was a lot worse than this, but I actually got hurt worse than this than I get hurt in that. Yeah, you you like broke your nose, didn't you? I broke my nose. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. So, so we actually uh, rebuilt my nose, obviously. <laughs> so we might have a video on that. A little bondo and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> that's hard. Anyways, so let's get into it and uh, finish the story, right? Yeah. All right, guys, let's get back to the story, and I'll tell you what happened, and then we'll go over the you again, again, show you all the damage. So, anyways, I was standing at a red light and. A younger girl in her 25, as I mentioned, mm -hmm. she was basically going on cruise control on a busy street on the street, at 50 miles an hour. And she slammed into me when I was at a complete stop. So I was not expecting nothing. I was just chilling there, you know, minding my own business. I was relaxed. And uh, next thing you know, I smacked my head either on a windshield or something steering wheel probably somewhere there uh no not on windshield yeah i, I don't think i could reach that far but the thing is the g-wagons everything's right there so yeah i slammed something and uh <laughs> i was dizzy for a little bit i didn't get knocked out or blacked out or anything i just i kind of i already knew somebody hit me yeah. and the way it seemed the way i slammed my face i thought i was going to walk outside and see my whole trunk inside my back seat. <laughs> but I walked out and I look at my damage at first and I was like, oh, this is not that bad. And I look at her car, like I showed you guys, her car is completely destroyed. I don't know 
I'm surprised that's nothing nice. happened to her. You know, it's it's good that nothing serious, no serious yeah. injuries happened to her or me. But yeah, she was going to cruise control. Not a smart idea to use on busy on the street. Streets. Yeah. So do not use cruise control, guys. I don't. People don't. Life lesson: Don't use cruise control on a busy street. I don't, I don't think I ever even used cruise control. I don't think I ever even used cruise control on a freeway. To be honest. People, yeah. Some people don't even know what cruise control is. <laughs> it's, it's just there. Do you even have cruise control in this thing? I do. <laughs> yeah, obviously. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into the car and uh, go over it. So let me just get a flashlight real quick. All right, guys. So the major impact was kind of on the lower driver's back driver's side. So my the G-Wagon is a 24s. She was on a Ford. So it's a little bit lower. So she kind of went underneath my car uh, completely destroyed my gas tank so you can see the gas tank moved and actually hit the axle as well and uh basically the whole quarter the whole frame shifted on this car so that's not i don't think that's uh something i don't know if we're gonna rebuild it or not yeah you know? we're still deciding on that we're still well we're we're actually waiting for insurance to yeah. decide what they want to <laughs> do you know but yeah it's it sucks it happened this is, uh, was uh like my dream car you know uh second one or <laughs> third second because yeah it's the second one yeah already destroyed my first one destroyed my second one anyways i'm gonna have a third one third time's the charm yeah third time's the charm. so the wheel the spare tire it got smacked mm. and it destroyed the trunk a little bit well they didn't destroy it, it just kind of like bent it in yeah kind of bent it in right here so the tow hitch cracked. That's so crazy. That's it's steel. It's like, look at it. Look at it. You see it? Zoom it in. Yeah. There it is right there. Yeah, they just completely just cracked. Oh, I can't focus. There you go. Look at that. That's the tow hitch, guys. This is like fiberglass bumper. Yeah. I actually, didn't I thought it was metal at first. Uh, I thought it was just hard plastic. So it's fiberglass. So that's. That's uh, new. I know a lot about this car. It's <laughs> a surprise, yeah. I did not know that. We did not mention, actually, I hit the car in front of me as well. Obviously, I was standing a red light. There was maybe five cars in front of me. But it wasn't that bad. And I actually had to kind of uh, look for the problem because I knew I hit the car in front of me. But then I walked down. There was like no damage. So I was like, where's the damage at? You know, <laughs> the car's standing there. So like, come here a little bit. The wheel does not turn steering wheel the steering wheel uh fluid just completely leaked out and uh let me show you something underneath the car check that out guys that's the steering rod look at that so that is actually supposed to be straight it's completely bent so we actually had to forklift this car inside and uh basically to the corner we tried to actually put some steering fluid so it can turn just for a few seconds just so we can get into a shop that thing literally leaked out right away so something busted we have not took anything apart we did not look at anything we actually just picked this car up from the insurance estimate they already did an estimate on it so we're waiting on uh what they want to do next so this is actually what i hit my front uh, the front car with so it, it's such actually it's such a light damage like my wheel yeah, just do tires the tire little a little bit the rim is scratched yeah. so over here you can see so i basically hit the car in front of me with my front wheel because my wheel turned like turned a little bit and i i don't know even where i hit that car you know i was uh a lot happened that day so uh, i was obviously uh in a little bit shock i was trying to you know uh yeah, I think I was giving the reports to the police and all this stuff. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of people. Uh, anyways, yeah, so I hit the car with my front end, with my front rim. So the front end did not get destroyed. But one thing that we noticed, check this out. So G-Wagon, it's supposed to have this gap right here on the bumper, right? It has kind of big gaps everywhere. But check this side out. This side is just like... I just like it. touching the fender it's just pushed yeah. against the fender so i don't know if uh it has frame damage on the front as well or the bumper just shifted from the accident because when i got hit it was it just the impact just threw my body completely forward 
and uh, I just hit everything with my head, with my chest, whatever. Even things flew out from the inside. Yeah, I seen the center console, some of the stuff like... Uh, yeah, this is that. let's get to that. Some of that stuff popped out. Yeah, so... You Check that see, out right yeah. there. That's crazy. So, everything pretty much just flew out from the inside. And if I remember correctly, I think even the armrest flew off too. Guys, there this, the scene. this it, it really sucks because this G-Wagon is completely rebuilt from outside to inside. Nothing stock, the whole uh, vinyl wrap on it. These fender, uh, fender flares are actually, they come sh uh, smaller, we got wider ones. The whole fr uh, front end conversion. The interior has uh, pretty much diamond stitch red seats, yep. door panels, the trunk as well. Um, Starlight suede, it has a new stereo, it has speakers and doors. A lot of, I think, I would say probably $30,000 worth of upgrades were was already in this car when I purchased it. So, it, it just sucks that it happened, you know. It yeah. took, I found this car somewhere in Oregon, so I, had, I actually had to drive, you know, over a thousand uh, miles there and back just to purchase this car and uh, this happened. So, I really don't want to give it to the insurance. You know, I kind hopefully of we can rebuild it. Hopefully, hopefully yeah, yeah, maybe. So we're gonna see. What if kind not, of then we can always get a new G wagon, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, we're gonna have to get a new G wagon because, uh, <laughs> you know, G wagon is life. G wagon is life, you know. So you, Dave knows. Hell yeah. You told me. Dave, yep. Dave knows. Dave knows the vibes. <laughs> yeah. Let's look a little bit right here. Oh, check that out. Piece of the bumper. So. Yeah, I took it. <laughs> I wasn't gonna leave anything behind, you know? I just no man left behind. Nothing left behind, I took this piece. We're probably gonna just hang it over there. On our wall of... Uh... On our <laughs> wall of shame? <laughs> <laughs> or how, how do they call it? They call it? There's so, a Penigalia Fender. Ducati that I crashed also when I was probably 18. This was. What's uh, up with you crashing stuff? Well, it's life, bro. <laughs> it's, you know? I don't know, uh, man. There we got the, the Lamborghini Huracan, hood yeah. that Blue Beauty's crashed. See? Not oh, only wow. me. Okay. Not only me. And uh, the Jeep and the G Wagon grill. Yeah, we actually also got that. Who? You. No, it wasn't you. That was Roman. It was Roman. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, Roman uh, lightly rear ended somebody in this car, but. <sighs> Were you with him? I think I you guys went to like buy a fishing boat or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, so. Performance rim bumper. So yeah, we're gonna basically maybe hang this piece on our wall, <laughs> wall of shame. Wall of shame. <laughs> Is that what we're gonna call it now? <laughs> I guess. I guess. So yeah, wall of shame. So. But yeah, so many good memories in this G wagon. A lot, yeah. Yeah. A lot. I I I love this car, especially the interior. I love the interior. The whole star starlight deal in it. It just you know. So now when I get the new G wagon, I have to make this interior. Red, uh, red stitching, red diamond stitch, whatever, yep. red diamond cut. Mm -hmm. I guess a lot of people call it whatever. But yeah, I have to do the same interior in my new G-Wagon because, uh, you know, it's, it's gonna, I'm not gonna be able to sit on just regular leather after this. You know, it has to be like red diamond stitch, stitching seats or whatever, so. That's enough on the G-Wagon. Let me give you a little update on the Lamborghini and some other great news that we got. So we actually purchased a new, uh, what is it? A Ford F-150. Platinum. I Platinum guess, yeah. edition. It's fully loaded. It's, it's sick. Yeah, it's we nice. got it, I think, for a really good deal. And the thing is, we started building the truck before New Year's and our plan was to complete it before New Year's. <laughs> but you can tell it's already January 25th yeah. or whatever. And uh, nothing's and we actually sent it in for frame before new year's and it just got back from frame but you know i don't blame the frame guy for taking super long it was new year's christmas uh he's a family guy so everybody was busy you know yep. this new year is crazy for everybody also on the lamborghini it's completely done we actually just have uh, we had to actually just have to take it to the lamborghini dealership to get it yep. fully inspected so we'll probably throw it in in the next video the plan with the lamborghini was January, around January, the first week of January, we, we, we were supposed to actually tow the Lamborghini to LA. We did not want to drive it, get rock chips, all that good stuff. Uh, we were gonna tow it to LA actually, 
and meet up with the uh, Blue Beauties, the first owner, actually the second, second owner, owner of the Lamborghini, and meet up with uh, Magic Mike as well. That's the first yeah, owner. That's the first so owner. we were gonna do a little collab with the uh, with the two first owners, and then us. Obviously, we purchased the car, so it was gonna be really cool. But you know, our trailer got stolen. We crashed the G wagon, and just a lot of problems. Nothing really worked out. So we're still planning to uh, take care of all that in uh, in the near future. Also, our Jeep Wrangler. I'm actually really surprised how fast that thing is. It's a 2.0 turbo, but that thing pulls. Dude, that thing pulls. On 37 inch tires. We didn't even have to re-gear either. We did not have to re-gear it. I was, I was like 99% sure we would have to re-gear it. Everybody told me we have yeah. to re-gear it. But that thing, the RPMs changed like perfectly to yeah. 2500. Uphill too, it's perfect. Uphill 2500. And everybody told me the car will not be able to go over, you know, 50 miles an hour if I don't regear it and it's gonna be high RPMs. But that car goes from zero to 80 real quick. It's a 2.0 turbo, it's, <laughs> it's super fast. Yeah. There's no death wobble, absolutely no death wobble. Yeah. We actually took the Jeep a little off-road. It's not rough country suspension for it to have death wobble. <laughs> rough country oh, come on let's not roast rough country come it's on. somewhat decent good prices good prices <laughs> uh i don't know what he's talking about rough country he actually has rough country in his cherokee don't you have rough country on your uh regret xj it. regret it <laughs> regret it so anyways rough country sponsors <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah i'll pass <laughs> but we actually have a decent suspension on it yeah. what's it rancho kit rancho yeah lift. we got rancho, rancho front lift. and back yeah so so you know it ran us i think thousand like around thousand dollars for a 3.5 inch lift kit and i i love it it's just it's perfect so we got we not no problems with the jeep whatsoever uh in the near future we're actually also going to do a little video on that jeep i'll show you guys do some crazy off-road do something with it I yeah don't know. Maybe just go over. We were like, supposed to do the pull, the tug of war with the G wagon, but we were sadly, supposed to, but you know, man, you just had to crash it. <sighs> really, my guy? I, I'm innocent. He was going 70 miles an hour. You plead the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> I was going 50 miles an hour on reverse on cruise con cruise control. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. I do that all the time. Was yeah. it in second gear or third gear? <laughs> it depends. It depends, yeah. Alright guys, so now we're gonna try to lift 7,000 pounds with this little forklift. We actually gotta push the G-Wagon to the wall so, so we can fit more cars into this area. So let's get to it. Tim, you're gonna, uh, you're gonna drive the forklift. You know, I'm certified. You need to actually get your certification. but. You gotta learn to pick up, you know, shipments like okay. this, okay. Uh, pallets. Yeah. But please ste step outside the shop. Right. Alright guys, that is actually it for today's video. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Ford Build. We are going to be posting updates on the G-Wagon, what we're going to do with it. I uh, hope you guys liked the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Peace.